Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with me, Charlie State, inside the grounds of Windsor Castle, where today the Queen will lead the royal family and the nation in mourning at the funeral of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. The service will pay tribute to Prince Philip's unwavering loyalty to the Queen. Many aspects of the ceremony were planned by the Duke with military precision. The selection of which units, which bands, which music, which medals will be there. So it is very much his funeral designed by him. A cherished moment during 73 years of marriage. Her Majesty shares one of her favourite photos of herself and her husband relaxing in the Scottish Highlands. This is St George's Chapel in Windsor. A small group of family members will walk through the castle grounds this afternoon in procession behind the Duke's coffin. We'll be looking ahead to the service throughout the programme this morning. And also on breakfast, tributes to the actor Helen McCrory, who's died at the age of 52. The author J.K. Rowling described the news as simply heartbreaking. And in sport, the World Snooker Championship gets underway in Sheffield this morning. With fans returning to the Crucible Theatre, the first indoor sporting event to admit spectators as part of the government's latest pilot scheme. Good morning. A quiet weekend of weather ahead. Yes, it's a chilly start once again, but there should be some decent spells of sunshine for most of us throughout the day. All the details coming up shortly. It's Saturday the 17th of April. Good morning from Windsor Castle, where the funeral of the Duke of Edinburgh will take place this afternoon, watched by millions of people around the world. It will be a small family affair because, in line with COVID restrictions, only 30 people will be allowed into St George's Chapel. The Queen will sit alone as she says goodbye to her husband of 73 years. Buckingham Palace said the service will celebrate and reflect the Duke's life, but they have asked members of the public to stay away. On breakfast this morning, we'll be hearing from those who knew the Duke and those who've been involved in planning today's events. Here's our Royal Correspondent, Nicholas Witchell. 